Hi, my name is Diego Gutierrez. I'm from Venezuela and I'm here to share some information, some valuable information on how to build your own home recording studio the cheapest way you can. So let's start. On this video, I'm going to talk about microphones. Okay, this is uh, one of the basic and most important things on a recording studio, of course. So basically, as my my experience on home recording studio I'm just an independent producer I'm not a professional uh, or whatever but I've been working with this uh, at home um, and there are two kind of microphones that you you gotta have and we have this dynamic microphones for example this Sennheisers are pretty good microphones and uh, there's also the same dynamic microphones uh, on the brand Shure, okay, pretty good. Shure and Heiser, they work pretty great. There are uh, out in the market some um, the Shure SM55, um, uh, 57, um, you know those drums uh, uh, kits. But as far as I know, for a cheap thing in a home, in-home, cheap recording studio, you just can have a pair of, of these dynamic microphones and you will be okay. Um, this, this microphone is a Shure C607. It works pretty great with vocals and sounds great. And I have a Sennheiser, Sennheiser uh, E815S. Okay, these are pretty good microphones, uh, sounds really professional and you don't have to spend a lot of lot of money so with a couple of these dynamic microphones you're, you'll be okay recording starting recording but the real thing for recording vocals uh, acoustic guitars or something is this babe I got here this is a uh, this is a condenser microphone okay cardioid microphone so there's a big difference between dynamic microphones and condenser microphones of course uh, condenser microphones are really really delicate Okay, so you gotta be really careful when you're recording with these babes. They get a lot of sound, lots of brightness, and also lows. Okay, so this is for me special. Is this especially for recording studio? Okay, uh, I've been using this in live situations also. But you gotta be really careful with feedbacks and something, and some things like that, uh, acoustics and whatever. So these condenser microphones are perfect, just perfect for recording studio. About the brand on uh, the condenser microphone, I had I, I got right here. Uh, let me see if I get the the paper. Okay, here I got it. Uh, this is a brand I found on on the net. It's called MXL, and they are pretty cheap microphones. Pretty pretty cheap, and they work great. Sound. They, in, in, I'm recording with this microphone right now, indeed. So you just need a a, a really good preamp. Uh, probably um, some compression but I think compression is not needed because this microphone gets so so really cool the vocals so here's the microphone I'm using right now an MXL 900 series and they just work great if you buy one of these babes uh, you'll be complete when when we, we're talking about uh, recording voice vocals and acoustic guitars or something like that so Dynamic microphones are not so, um, you know, so sensible, sensitive when we talk about getting the sound. But these are great for recording uh, with uh, amplificators, gu guitar amps, and uh, even the drums. You can record drums with these babes uh, in the mi condenser microphone up there, like uh, overhead. So there are lots of applications you can do with a condenser, a condenser microphone and uh, dynamic microphones also so talking about buying cheap things you better go for MXL it's pretty pretty cheap if you find somewhere else cheaper just go for it it's a condenser microphone and it sounds great and about dynamic microphones uh, these guys are pretty professional are not so cheap like the SM series but they sound really really cool so with a couple of dynamic microphones like a condenser microphone you're up and loaded so see you on the next video